Hey, Star Wars fans and Rule of the Galaxy fans, it is Joe. We're doing a quick surprise video because our good friend, good friend of the show, Scott Reifen, um, the most listened to man in South Georgia radio, um, sent me a surprise. So we're going to check this out. We're going to open this up, see what it's all about. I lost my box cutter. So yes, I'm unsafely opening this with scissors, but I thought it'd be fun to just do this real quick and see what is in this surprise box from Scott Rifen. He's too nice, by the way. I need to get him more gifts because this is the second time he sent me something. And um, it's been pretty good so far. I have a feeling I know what it is because Scott has a tradition. So let's see. Good packing. I love it. Plastic bags, always good. Get rid of those bad dudes. Okay. So the first thing, which is awesome, and will go right here in my collection, and I will have it up somewhere soon because I still have to put his last year one was. That's right. I get a droid. You get a droid. I am on the list for getting the holiday droid from the droid factory at Galaxy's Edge. So Scott Reifen, this is awesome. This is like the R2-D2 with the drink holder from uh, Jabba's Barge, but it is R2-S4M. I have no idea what that means. R2-S4M. I'm probably not smart enough to realize there's some kind of correlation with those letters. R2 serve them? I don't even know. But uh, it's a really cool droid. Really great. Scott, thank you for this. And to go along with that, whoa, Scott, I don't know if I should even open these. Are these original Tops Return of the Jedi cards? I'm a little nervous about opening them. Should I open them? Is it good or bad? I don't know. Oh, I still feel the piece of gum inside. Should I chew the gum? I mean, it's 40-year-old gum. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say anything about a, an expiration date on the gum, but it is Topps Bazooka gum inside there, I'm sure. Uh, we have the Darth Vader and the Luke Skywalker. I, I'm going to open them. I mean... I, I, I'm not going to collect these and put them away to put my kids through college, right? So let's see what we get here. So on the Luke Skywalker package, let's see what we've got here. Oh, makes me feel like I'm 12 years old all over again. So first of all, the piece of gum still smells good. I don't know. I'm really considering putting a 40-year-old piece of gum in my mouth. So let's see here. We have ATST, All-Terrain Scout Transport. That is the first card. Second card, The Rescue. A little higher. A little higher. Yeah. The Forest of Indoor. Pretty cool. Got the Rebel team in there. I like that. Here is the Emperor's Offer. I just did a video on my favorite Sith. There is Darth Sidious right there. We just know him as the Emperor. Ah. Oh. R2-D2 meets Wicket. Such a classic scene. Uh, Han Solo sticker. Love it. And on the back is part of a larger puzzle we put together. I'm going to guess that is uh, Wicked the Ewok. But I have a feeling I'm going to be putting this on something. Han Solo sticker. Very cool. Oh, it's a trap. I thought that was pretty good, by the way. My Mon Calamari uh, accent. Yeah. Admiral Akbar right there. Is that Admiral Akbar? Don't know. Can't see from 1983 if that's good coloring for Akbar or somebody else. Han Solo, nice card right there. Your favorite mine, Psy Snoodles. Psy Snoodles. 
Princess Leia, Pr Leia, Princess Leia, right here with her Ewok gear on. Right here, when C-3PO shows us that he is uh, has mystic powers for the Ewoks, and another Ewok. It's the same one as the last card, but the courageous Ewoks right there. Very cool card. I cannot wait to go through and read the backs of all these and get all the details. Man, that's really cool. Let's let's go ahead. Let's open the Return of the Jedi with Darth Vader on the cover. Now, I will be keeping the paper from these. So, Scott, I'm sorry that I opened them if you didn't want them open, but I think this is way too cool. And um, we're going to open the Darth Vader right now. Carefully, carefully. Let's see what we've got in the Darth Vader pack. Hmm, another fresh piece of gum. 40-year-old gum right there. You gotta love it. These are all turned inside out. So let's uh, let's surprise ourselves here, shall we? The first one, the lightsaber battle from Return of the Jedi. What a great card. And I'm gonna have to put these up somewhere. Hey, got a double. Two packs. R2-D2 meets Wicket back-to-back. -back. So that can be a gift to somebody, a duplicate. There is a bounty hunter. I always called a Bausch. But, I mean, I already called it Bosch. I've heard people say Bausch. I, I thought it was Bosch. But anyway, love that character when Leia walked into Jabba's palace with that. Toward the desert palace, C-3PO and R2-D2. Love it. Great opening scene right there. Here is Wicket approaching the princess. Leia, pass out after all the craziness with the uh, biker scouts. Right there, our first introduction to Wicket. Hey, check it out. My second Han Solo sticker. I'm going to have, I guess I'm going to have to give these to Joey, the stickers, because Han Solo is his favorite character. So very cool. And again, putting the puzzle all together on the back of those. Another duplicate. That's okay, though. Princess Leia Organa. When she's up with the Ewoks in the Ewok village. Oh, now this one right here, one of my favorite characters of all time, the Biker Scout. That looks great. I've actually sat on those at uh, Celebration in Chicago in 2019, and then at ICCC down in Nashville, Tennessee. They've got some great speeder bikes um, that people can sit on out in front of the bunker, but that looks awesome right there. Han Solo Plight, Han Solo City in the Carbonite in Jabba's Palace. Great card. Right here. Ewoks to the rescue. Fantastic. I love that these little furry two-foot, three-foot characters can destroy the evil empire. It's fantastic. And my brother, while watching the scenes of the Ewoks, threw up an entire bucket of popcorn in the theater in 1983 because he was laughing so hard that the Ewoks were destroying the, the stormtroopers. It is a sight and a sound that will never go away. Last but not least, Captured by the Ewoks. What a fun scene where all of our heroes, except for Leia, are trapped in the net by the Ewoks. All because Chewie was hungry. Always thinking with his stomach. So uh, that is the cards that I received from Scott. Scott, thank you so very much for these Return of the Jedi cards. Really appreciate it. I will grab the last year's holiday droid and put it up with this one. And it'll be sitting right behind me, right there with the Rule of the Galaxy sign. Thank you for these gifts. Uh, these are ones that, until my grandsons really bother me, I'm not going to open. I really like, you know, these are special. They were gifts. They were from Galaxy's Edge. So thank you so much for this. Scott Rifen, great guy. Uh, go follow him. He's all over all kinds of podcasts. Go listen to My Star Wars Story. Go find that and listen to all the work he's done in the past with that. But Thank you again. Um, that was a fun little opening. And until next time, may the force be with you.